Hello and welcome to this edition of Game Time with Final Fantasy XIV, A Realm Reborn for the PlayStation 3. Joining us as always is Chrono Ocelot, our currently level 42 summoner. And yes, it has been quite some time since we have, um, have we had, since we've actually did a Game Time video. As you can see, we've been doing some um, fake grinding. But um, I think last time we left you off, our summoner was probably at level 33 maybe, 34 possibly. But... We were supposed to get to 35 and then have a chat back to y Yamhitra here. Um, and she was going to probably give us the uh, the storyline quest or the quest line, class line quest that would take us to um, get our Titan Eggy. So anyway, uh, here we are, level 42, a little bit behind. But uh, oh well, we'll have a chat to her right now. So we are in. Um, beautiful Gridania, um, old Gridania at that, over here by the Ap Apkalu, Apkalu Falls, is that maybe how you say it, I don't know. Anyway, let's have a chat to her and see what she has to say to us. What she'll have us do this time around, so here we go. No, she's going to give us something else, so at 35, uh, it's called uh, Osterites of Earth, it's going to give us Fester. It says, uh, cause wounds inflicted by bio, bio 2, and my asthma to fester, dealing damage with a potency of 100 for each, for each effect, okay. Um, can only be used when the original spells were cast by you, and when under the effect of Aether Flow. Okay, so it's going to be another one of those things that take, uh, take Aether Flow damage, and it seems like it's... Or it's going to take one of the Aether Flow stacks, and that seems like it adds on extra damage. So that should be kind of fun. So, uh, Yamhitra, the researcher at Ap Apkalu Falls, wishes you wishes you to proceed with the next summoning ritual. Okay. Titan's Essence infuses your aura, Chrono. Uh, Titan's Essence, really? I haven't fought Titan yet. Oh, well, yeah, I have fought him. Okay, I see what she's just saying. Never mind. <laughs> okay. I foresee no further obstacles preventing us from attempting the next ritual. Shall we proceed with the Osterites of Earth? I have every confidence that you will succeed in bonding Titan Eggy to your will. According to my research, the most suitable location for the ritual is a place found to the southwest of Adder Springs in the North Shroud. A heretofore buried layer, an ancient rock exposed by the violent upheavals of the calamity, has lent the surrounding area an overwhelming earthen aspect. The conditions will be perfect. I will await you at your at our destination, Chrono. Okay, so North Shroud. Here we go. Uh, Outer Falls, North Shroud. Pull out here, and uh, la la la. Gotta remember how to play this. There we go. Teleport us to that. De, 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 forgot what it is. Forgord float. This should be North Stroud. Yeah, I believe she said North Stroud. So that's what we're gonna do. Is um take this teleport to the Northern Shroud. Um, Forgord float to be more specific, and then we're gonna check our map and find out where um. Uh, Oh, there we go. Check it right now. Find out Outer Springs. Okay, so she wants us over here. Okay. Um, this way is where we need to head to. Okay. Okay, so yes, um, I'm pretty sure that I probably read through it before, but it never really registered until just now. Um, she said that the way that, the reason why, um, the Fulgore Float is, is situated this way is because of what happened during the Calamity. So I guess all the uh, all the tremors and whatnot, it's uh, shifted the Earth enough to make it actually have these these floating columns, it seems like, outside of the uh, the tree roots. So, yeah, flo floating columns of uh, Earth and rock debated by, and then all the way down there. I don't know how high in the sky we really are, but to me, um, it shouldn't be foggy down there. Um, there's a fate that we will not be participating in. Good thing is that when you are over a level and you have to level sync for a fate, that means that they won't really bother you because uh, you're too high for them to really mess with. So, Okay, the ritual you're about to perform is essentially no different from the Osterites of Flame. 
Instead of fire, however, you will be concentrating on shifting your aetheric balance towards the spectrum of Earth. Once you have achieved the required state of Earth infinity, the primal's captured essence will tumble forth and co coalesce um, into the stony form of Titan Aggie. As before, you must demonstrate uh, unflinching authority if you would convince the newborn avatar to heed your commands. Let us begin. Okay, so let's uh, let's leave for a second here. Let's actually call forth something here. Um, what are we gonna do it with? What should we do it? I'm debating. Uh, let's use. I want to use either Topaz Carbuncle or the Ifrit for damage dealing. Damage dealing, and I need probably need them to tank for me. Yeah, because if I remember the Titan fight correctly, um, big thing that I had to watch out for was his him knocking us over the side. I believe, I don't know. It's been been a while since I fought him. Okay, um, I'll have to take a peek at the game time video myself. So with that being said, I have nothing to really cast on myself for protection. Um, I can do this Aether Flow though. There we go. Okay, so I'll do Aether Flow now and then let that heal up just for a little bit before we step in so that, that way I come in hopefully with three stacks already. Yeah, so it's going to sink my level if it's above 39. So um, the three stack Aether Flow, I believe I got at 40. So or maybe even 41. So I do I will not have three stacks. So I'll probably have to recast it anyway. Oh well. Let's see what we got. That's all you can do. So I give it a go. Good thing is, is in case I do die, I am right outside of uh, Gradania, so I can just uh, simply return, and then it won't cost me a too much money like before when we had to actually call for some help there we go yeah, to do Aether Flow again anyway. Oh, some of that right there. This means it makes me want to really bob your head. Zoom out just a little bit, make sure we're seeing everything here. That's a carbuncle. So all I'm doing here is just making sure I keep my um, my DOTs going. Uh, right on target, hopefully. And then I'm just killing off any of the ads possible. Trying to keep sustain going on Topaz Carbuncle. Staying back on the carbuncle real quick. Okay, those things are still there floating, so I'm just gonna nuke out with everything I got here at this point. Because I don't want him to do like a overkill thing on me. So I'm afraid he's gonna possibly try to do here. Okay, perfect. 
Yeah, just to be on a safe side, I didn't want to didn't want to do like that overkill. So just nuked out on him with everything I had. It's definitely a lot easier than the primal was. Well done, Chrono. I come in search of elegant relics, and what do I find but a pair of incompetent dabblers? By the jest of fate, did you chance across uh, such undeserved power? I don't know what you're talking about, sir. And who might you be, sir, to so boldly question our accomplishments? If you have indeed unlocked the secrets of summoning, then you must be in possession of the very treasure I seek. How terribly convenient. I need only slay you both and take what I need from your bloody corpses. Uh oh. And he can write way faster than I can. Gods below, a summoner, but ow. Yeah, see, I thought that was a little too easy. Seashore, infantile, prattle. The continuation of my divine work far outweighs the worth of your pitiful lives. Sheesh, bruv. You don't have to be that evil. Alright, what to do? Should we take out his Ifrit or should we take out him? Ifrit hates, so we'll probably go ahead and focus on Ifrit. has a lot of health here too. Hopefully you keep yourself healed there. Well, let's try you then. Let's see if you take any quicker health damage than he does. Definitely will take out a fruit first from the looks of it. So I don't have anything to sleep on with. Gotta hit him with these already. We didn't plan on it. Pass that back up. Carbuncle sustain. Passed up with all my goodies. It's a nice little ability. Oh, big one. Dodging them. For the looks of it, just keep dodging. Okay, keep up on my DOTs. Sustain carbuncle. Okay. Alright, we're doing pretty decent so far. Give up? Why do you struggle so? Could you say you're gonna kill us? Your unwillingness to accept oblivion, but delays the in inevitable. Heed me, Avatar of Infernal Flame. Incinerate these fools in all consuming hellfire. What? Feel nature is fury, you vile blackguard. Ah, I tire of this childish game. Thank you, gods, for granting you another day of miserable existence. He 
Are your efforts tight? He's gone. What a decidedly unpleasant fellow. As Ifrit is cool though. He created a wall of flame and smoke for them to escape behind. And he was strong. As Ifrit is awesome. You learn how to summon Titan Eggy. Hooray! Yeah, so that wasn't so bad at all. Okay, let's see if he has it there. I don't have it yet. Yeah, no, I don't have a tight neggy on me yet. Okay. Well, I suggest we turn to Ab Abkalu Falls. I have no desire to linger here and chance another encounter with whomever that deranged mage was. Deal, okay. Let's uh, go ahead and use our return spell. Take us back to New Gridania. Yeah, it was interesting though, his um his little um AF gear was pretty cool too. He had all black. All black on for that uh AF gear. And the ones I believe I've seen were green and red. So yeah, I kinda like the uh black one better. I don't know. It's my personal preference, but then again, since I'm level forty two and another three levels, then I'll be able to to uh take a peek at most of that. AF gear by doing the quest. Alright, um, 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 we need to make it to the Lancers Guild. Yeah. yeah so use the Ethernet, um, Ethernet, or Crystal Shards. Make it up there to the Lancers Guild, which will shorten our run that we have to do by quite a bit. I'll go straight over this and then through the little opening and then make a solid left right there okay cut through the canopies and here we go at Abkalu Falls okay Let's see what you have to say I must say I did not expect to meet another practitioner of the summoning arts and I also did not expect to be suddenly fighting for my life. What precious treasures do we carry that this callous stranger was so willing to kill us to possess it? Such mysteries aside, I am most glad you were able to secure Titan Aggie before the summoner decided to unleash his fiery avatar. Without its protection, I doubt we would have survived that, that conflagration. <laughs> the Eggy of Earth, as was so aptly demonstrated, excels at defense. You should certainly take the time to explore its capabilities as well as its limitations. Be careful, however, to do, uh, not to neglect your offense completely. Meanwhile, I shall confer with my colleagues in the Sons of St. Connach and see what I might learn of that hostile, might learn that hostile summoner. We shall meet anon. Right, so we get that new ability faster. We'll go ahead and complete it and take another 9,000 experience. Oh, do we get. When you have the soul of the summoner equipped, casting the spell summon 2 will now call upon Titan Aggie instead of Topaz Carbuncle. I see, so it starts pushing away from it. Okay, so we did get our 9,000 experience. Perfect. Let's uh, let's take a little peek, shall we? So, this one is summon 2, um, the triangle slot. Does not look like we have anything special for actually summoning. Um, let's check a peek here at the job here. Uh, summon three pulls forth uh, if free got you so carbuncle and titan are essentially the same thing because they both tank so now instead of calling carbuncle I won't have that option I'm just only going to be able to call forth um, titan so let's go ahead and uh, give it a go goodbye carbuncle from the rest of uh, from our summoning days this is the last we'll see you now we're going to transform you into now titan eggy 
So Titan Aggie will be always our our damage dealer. Um, or not our damage dealer, he'll always be our tank. The uh, HP of 3,328. Okay, Emerald Carbuckle still does pop out on his own when he is summoned. And of course, then we have uh, our Ifri as well. There we go. So yeah, we do have our Ifri, which is uh, of course a another attacker type. So Ifri and our he's a uh, physical attacker type. Um, our Emerald Carbuncle is a caster attacker type, and then of course our Topaz Carbuncle slot is now just the Titan slot, and that's going to be our tank. So that's always beautiful to have and know about. Um, let's go ahead and call him forth again. Then we got this new ability, uh, Fester. We're gonna have to play around with that a bit. Just see if we can sub it out with something. Rose, I'll probably need to use that too. Let's go and uh, switch out you with you for the time being. Yeah, I'm gonna have to set up some macros to kind of pull all these um, abilities together so that it doesn't take up so much space on my cross hotbar. And it'll allow us to use a lot of the same um, combinations that I normally use, just a little bit easier for me. A close look at this uh, this Titan here. It's pretty ugly, I'm not gonna lie, but so is the real Titan. It's definitely definitely cuter than the real Titan, but still ugly. All right. <laughs> okay, so with that being said, guys, um, I guess for now I'll, I'll probably do it for the episode. So I'll be on behalf of uh, Chrono Ocelot and myself, and of course uh, our Titan Eggy that we just achieved. Now it's looking in the opposite direction, of course. Um, and of course, Gimitra back there, whatever. We'd like to thank you guys for watching this edition of Game Time with Final Fantasy XIV, A Realm Reborn, for the PlayStation 3. And until next time, when uh, hopefully we'll take on the next quest, and we'll see if it has to do with anything with that Garuda Eggy. Ooh, that's hopefully she's not as tough as the real, the real battle was, hopefully. But anyway, until then, guys, this is um, all of us saying bye-bye, farewell, and we will see you next time.